In this video, we will see how can you plot the dynamic heat map for a particular index, else stock from your watch list, else the FNO stocks, and you can sort it by price percentage change or relative volume or RSI. So let us start this video. When you log into the website, you will see this page. You have to go to the market segment and click on dynamic heat map. When you click on dynamic heat map, this page will open. You can see by default, the heat map is plotted for Nifty 50 and it is sorted by the price percentage change. We will understand how the price percentage works and how the scale has been arranged to give us a more detailed view to see the price percentage. So if the price percentage change for that particular stock is zero, there is negligible price percentage change, there will be no color coding in the background of that stock. And if the price percentage change is greater than zero, it will be in green color coding. So as the bullishness of the stock increases, the green color coding for that particular stock will increase accordingly. So if you, you can see if the price percentage change is greater than 0 to 1, it will be in this green color coding. If the price percentage change is greater than 1 to 2, it will be in this green. And if it is greater than 2%, 3%, 4%, you can see that green color coding will be darker for those stocks. And it is reverse for the losing stocks. The stocks that are losing in points or the price percentage change wise, it's the price is falling. So if it is less than 0 to 1, it will be the lightest red color, which is pinkish color. And as the bearishness of the stock increases, the more fall in that stock, the deeper the red color coding will be. So every five minutes in the live market, the dynamic heat map will be refreshed and it will give us the price percentage change. You can see that the scale is arranged from top losers to the top gainers. So in the first, we will always get the top loser from the 50 stocks here and the most bullish stock we will get in the end. Now we will understand what this yellow color coding and this gray color coding tells us. So the yellow color coding tells us that if the LTP, you can see when the market closed, the, the LTP of HCL take is 1091.85. And this is the day's high that it made and this is the day's low that it made. And at the end, you have the price percentage change. So if the LTP could be around 0.25 percentage nearer to the day's low, you could have seen the yellow color coding in this HCL stock. So just beside that, you have ONGC. Here you can see 150 was the LTP. So if the LTP is around 0.25 percent nearer to the day's low, you can see that a yellow color coding is there in the day's low for that particular stock. And the gray color coding will be in whichever stock the LTP will be around 0.25 percentage nearer to the day's high. So this coding, this color coding has been given only to understand if the LTP is more inclined towards the day's low or it is more inclined towards the day's high. It is trading, the stock is trading more towards the it's nearer to the day's low or the day's high. To understand that, we have given this color coding. So this was all about this video. In the next video, we will plot the heat map for other sectorial indices and we will sort it by price percentage change. And in the later videos, we will also plot the heat map for RSI and for the relative volume as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. The direct link for going to the dynamic heat map page will be in the description box. Please do check it out. And if you have any queries, you can put it in the comment section.
ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ